Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to learn how to use Morph Transition to create this cool rocket slide. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. First, open a blank slide in PowerPoint. Let's get rid of the placeholder text. Go to Shapes Pick Circle and draw one on your slide. Use Control to duplicate this shape. Place them side by side with some portions overlapping. Let's go to Merge Shapes and choose Intersect to only keep the overlapping portion. Let's add in another oval at the bottom here. In Merge Shapes, we'll use the Fragment option this time to separate each overlapping part. Now let's delete the extra bits until we're left with this shape. Let's add another small oval at the bottom. Select both shapes using Shift and remove their outlines. Align both and use Union to make them a single shape. Use the Rectangle Shape tool to create a horizontal bar like so. Duplicate it twice using Control. Place them like this. Align them vertically. Let's use Fragment on all the shapes and get rid of these extra bits from the bars. Combine the remaining shapes using Union like this so you are left with four sections of the rocket. Let's make this rocket a bit colorful by using the format shape menu. In the pane, fill in the background with any color of your choice. Let's add in a crescent and adjust it like so. Make it larger and add in another oval on it. Then fragment the shapes and delete these sections. you'll be left with the rocket's fins. Let's position one of them like so. Duplicate this shape and rotate it. In the rotate menu, flip the shape vertically. Remove the fins outlines. Now add an oval towards the bottom of the rocket. Fragment these shapes and remove the excess. Let's make a copy of the rocket's body and use Union to create a single shape. Then turn it upside down and reduce its size. Place it below the rocket's body like so. This will be your rocket's exhaust flame. Let's make it yellow. Duplicate this and change the new flame's color to white. Let's create two more small yellow flames like this to make the flame more interesting. Send these to the back. Select all shapes and shift them upwards. 
Now let's make your rocket pop out of the screen by making it look 3D. Select the big flame and in the format shape menu, apply this perspective shadow preset. Change the color to one that contrasts the background. Let's change the color of the fins and the bottom section of the rocket. It's time to split the rocket apart. Let's duplicate the slide using Ctrl D. On the duplicate slide, make a copy of a section of the rocket by selecting it while holding Ctrl and drag it to the side like this. In the Format Shape menu, apply a gradient fill. Set the angle at 70 degrees. Change the transparency of the first gradient stop to 45%. Make the direction diagonal. Make the second gradient stop black and make it completely transparent. Move it to the middle of the slider. Shift this gradient onto the shape. Repeat this step for all shapes. Alternate between left and right diagonal gradients. Once each shape has a gradient applied, shift each section to the left or right of the rocket's body. Move the fins away from the body as well. Enlarge the flames on this slide. Let's add a gradient on the first slide as well. Select the topmost section and apply a gradient fill. Choose a lighter shade on the right. Add a third gradient stop and change its color to a much paler shade. You make the leftmost gradient stop darker in color. Play around with the gradient until you find the perfect combination. We've gone with a black, peach, and light pink gradient. Let's repeat this step for all four sections. Attach the fins to the bottom section. Select both slides and go to the Transitions tab Select Morph Transition. Back on the second slide, let's select all the gradients and copy them. I paste them onto the first slide, lining them up with each shape like this. It's time to switch up the background now. Right click on the background and open the format background menu. Add a gradient fill to the background. You can play around with the colors and settings till you've found the perfect match. We've chosen to go with a dark to light blue gradient. Apply the same gradient on the second slide. We're also adding a starry graphic to make the background look like the night sky. We're also going to add in a cloud illustration on the first slide. Let's copy the same cloud onto the second slide. Shift it upwards to show the rocket taking off. Add in a square and duplicate it thrice. These will hold the icons for each point. 
Let's place them on the slide like this. Add in an arrow shape for each point's heading. Match the color of the square and arrow shapes to the nearest section of the rocket's body. Remove the outlines for all these shapes. Let's add in a text box on each arrow. Once you've added all four points, go to the Insert tab. Click on Icons and add in relevant icons. You can even look for a specific one using the search bar. Place these within the squares and make them white. Copy these icons onto the first slide and place them on their respective sections. And that's it. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.